Welcome to our channel. Today we are bringing you an epic love story from Korea. Be with you from 2018. Do you believe in second chances? Would a mother keep a promise made to a little boy? Stay with us to find out. The movie opens with a little boy, Jiho, reading a story about a duck sitting alone. His father, Wu Jin, has just lost his wife, Su Ah. Though they both miss her, they try their best to move on after Su Ah's passing. Wu Jin is now a single father. Jiho sees on the TV that it has started to rain. He asks his father whether the rainy season is about to begin. Su Ah had made a sweet promise before she left this world. She told them she'd come back on a rainy day. They continue their daily routine, going to school and working at the local pool as usual. Jiho goes to his Uncle Hong's bakery after school and waits for his father to pick him up after work. Uncle Hong agrees to run the school relay race with Jiho, as his father is taking medication and cannot run. Wu Jin is delayed at work, so he only makes it to the school event at the last moment. Father and son run the family relay race, but Wu Jin faints and falls short of the finish line. On a rainy day, Wu Jin and Jiho go looking for Su Ah, as she was supposed to return from Cloudland after the rainy season started. They wait for some time, and Wu Jin carries Jiho back as he refuses to leave without his mother. On the way back, a miracle happens. They meet Su Ah sitting by the railway track. Jiho immediately runs to his mother, but she cannot remember anything. They all walk back home. Wu Jin decides to play it cool. He pretends he's a total stranger to Su Ah and does the usual business of working and taking his son to school. But Jiho skips school and runs back home to be with his mother. They play till the evening. That night, Wu Jin chats with Su Ah, and they discuss what happened in the past as Su Ah applies some cream where Wu Jin got burned while she was attempting to cook. Wu Jin reminds her of the past, how he helped her when she nearly drowned in the pool. He admits that he had a crush on her in the school. The scene cuts to Wu Jin and Su Ah's school era. Wu Jin somehow manages to get Su Ah as the dance partner. But he was so clumsy that he broke Su Ah's nose during the first dance practice. Su Ah leaves all bloodied up, and they never talk till the last day of school. On the last day of school, Su Ah asks Wu Jin to sign her book and mistakenly takes his pen home. Wu Jin tries to call her once during college but hangs up when he hears her voice. Then he gets drafted into the military service for the next two years. They finally meet. Su Ha has brought the pen she took on the last day of school. She has kept it with her all these years. They eat, drink, and chat. When the time comes for them to part, both wait at the bus stop, skipping buses. Su Ha finally had to board the last bus. As the door closes, she gets in and tells him she won't return from Seoul until winter break. In a romantic gesture, Wu Jin runs after her bus gets in and asks her whether he can write her while she is gone. She says yes, but Wu Jin is thrown off the bus. Movie cuts in the present day. Wu Jin tries telling Hong that Su Ah has come back, but decides against it and goes back. Su Ah rediscovers her love of painting. That night, Su Ah removes some earwax from Wu Jin's ear. But later that night, Hong turns up totally drunk at Wu Jin's place, which messes things up. Su Ah comes out. Hong is astonished by her appearance. He thinks that he is seeing a ghost and runs away. The scene cuts back to their dating days. They are watching a movie. Wu Jing tries holding her hand in the dark but ends up holding the foot of the old man sitting behind them. Finally, they hold hands at the bus stop. The past repeats. When Wu Jing tells her what happened at the bus stop, Su Ah puts her hand in his jacket pocket and they hold hands just like they did so long ago. That night they climb up a hill and watch a movie being played at a drive-in movie theater downhill. They kiss and make out there. Ji Ho's birthday is coming. Su Ah wears her wedding band again. Ji Ho tells his school friend that his mother is back and asks her not to tell anyone. She pinky promises not to tell. The family is together again and all are happy. They go to the river for a picnic. They enjoy their time there. And Wu Jin carries Su Ah and the kid on piggyback on their way home. But once they reach home, Wu Jin faints and falls. Su Ah is worried and asks when he starts having these blackout spells. Wu Jin recalls his time at national swim tryouts where he first experienced this. It had something to do with hormones, he had been told. He is on medication, but it got worse. He had to give up swimming. Wu Jin recalls when he told Su Ah they had to break up immediately after the first illness. She's come to see him after hearing that he quit swimming. She walks away, and he tries to get over her for the following year. One rainy night, he sees her getting into a car with a guy. He was happy for her, but thinks he is no good for Su Ah. They stop talking altogether. 
But a few months later, Su Ah suddenly called and came to see him. She hugs him at the train station and tells him they are meant to be and everything will be all right. The scene cuts into the present day and Wu Jin and Su Ah talk in bed. He tells her how he proposed to her and she quit grad school to get married soon after. The rainy season is about to end. Time's ticking and Sua finds the diary she wrote before she died. She realizes she has to leave soon. Sua feels sad, watching an old video of her husband and kid. Jiho was caught putting soap on his classmate's father's car. Wu Jing asks why he did that, but the kid doesn't respond. Walking back home, he finds the answer. Jiho's friend had told him it rained every time his father washed his car. Jiho put soap on the car, hoping it would keep raining when it was washed. He just wants his mom to stay. Sua goes to Hong's bakery to buy a cake for Ji Ho's birthday. She asks Hong for a favor. While coming home in the rain, she finds that Ji Ho is out looking for her. They cut the cake and enjoy. Wu Jing and Sua kiss on the porch later that night as they realize the time for parting comes near as the rainy season ends. Wu Jin was again late for his kids' concert. Sua is waiting outside for him, but there is an accident in the pool. Wu Jin dives in to save the coach. Jiho cannot see his parents at the concert, so he is upset, but he makes a good speech at the end. Finally, the last drop of rain had already fallen for the season. The sun is out, it is time for Sua to go. She bids farewell. Wu Jing makes it to her in the final moment as she leaves. Life goes on. Jiho grows up. Wu Jing is fitter, and he got a new job. One day he finds Sua's diary and sees her side of their love story. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos.